Welcome everyone and good afternoon to all of you and happy President's Day. Um, but today we are actually celebrating World Day of Social Justice. It's a day um, recognizing the need to promote efforts to tackle issues such as poverty, exclusion, and unemployment. It was uh, passed by the United Nations General Assembly in 2007 and um, remember countries of the United Nations have been celebrating it since 2009. As recognized by the World Summit, social development aims at social justice, solidarity, harmony and equality within and among countries and social justice, equality and equity constitute the fundamental values of our society. Honorable. Very honorable. Well, it's an honor to be in front of you, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, but think about it for a minute. Okay, where are we? I've got my, my back is the Statue of Liberty. In front of me is the First Presbyterian Church. And to the right of me are the honest citizens of Colorado Springs. And a beautiful day in Colorado. But what are we here for? Okay, so we're here to recognize that we don't have to repeat history. 154 years ago, Lincoln said, we cannot escape history. We will be remembered in spite of ourselves. No personal significance or insignificance can spare one or another of us. The fiery trial through which we pass will light us down in honor or dishonor latest generation with truth, openness, and integrity becoming scarce commodities in the White House and with ethnic nationalism and other anti-democratic forces gaining in many countries, my fear is that the authentic nature of our American heritage, which we made with our hands and the relationships we made with the world, our words, is being compromised. Images have become so ubiquitous that we no longer remember what it is we have lost. But ignoring or forgetting doesn't absolve us of responsibility. We are not just innocent dupes or victims in this cataclysmic shift from being to appearing. Rather, we reinforce this state of affairs when we lend our attention to the spectacle, but not our actions. The sun never sets on the empire of modern passivity. And in this passive state, we surrender ourselves and our future to the spectacle we now see before us. So rather than surrendering, I wrote this proclamation. Whereas Colorado Springs has declared itself repeatedly as a city welcoming and inclusive of people of all races, colors, creeds, and national origin. We cherish, this diversity. Yes. we cherish this diversity for enhancing the quality of life in our community. As Colorado Springs continues to engage as an international city and a global economy, we can anticipate that foreign-born residents will continue to make Colorado Springs their home. have not changed. We will remain focused on what matters, making Colorado Springs the best place in the nation to work, live, and play. We will continue to tackle the key issues affecting the people of Colorado Springs, like transportation, affordable housing, homelessness, job creation, and criminal justice reform. Yes. 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 This election has been a long and challenging process for all of us. Now it's time to move forward together. And we, as members of the Colorado Springs communities, pledge to work together and move the crucial dialogue forward that ensures all Colorado Springs feel their voice is heard. 
We commit to evaluate our systems of government with an inclusive lens. Our communities will foster and ensure, ensure equity, social justice, and freedom from fear of prosecution based on race, religious belief, country of origin, sexual orientation, gender, physical ability, or age. Here, here. Yeah. Specifically, we will work together to support our brothers and sisters in communities of color, LGBTQ, immigrants, refugees, and those of the Muslim and Jewish faith who at times have been targeted in unjust ways. And whereas we advocate for the creation of a society which does not tolerate any act of racism or oppression towards another individual, and whereas each Colorado Springs citizen has this responsibility to engage, learn, and debate different views and beliefs in a civil robust manner. Now therefore be it proclaimed by us, the citizens of Colorado Springs, that we freely commit to participate in and to expand inclusivity and conversations and systems that are free of oppression. And that this proclamation fairly represents the heart and soul of our community so that all who enter will know of our commitment to every individual who visits or calls our great city of Colorado Springs home. Thank you for your cannot be fully realized if we cannot examine and discern our inner world as we so skillfully examine the outside world and its unjust system. If we begin the work of social justice and we do not discern inwardly first, we will remain unaware of the egoic ways in which we falsely separate ourselves from each other. We will remain ignorant of the ways in which we futilely cling to our identities that have nothing to do with our true selves, but rather are like masks that we use to hide our true selves and separate ourselves. There are some among us who look at an addict and feel nothing but hate and blame. Yet in our own lives, we too are experiencing addiction, just more socially acceptable. We live in a blissful denial of that, of that addiction's existence. I am that. I am. There are some among us who see someone else steal in desperation or greed and feel nothing but contempt and fear. And in our own lives, we use legal means to strip from and take advantage of others. We live in that tension of that disparate reality. We detest those who take, and yet we take ourselves. I am that. I am. There are some among us who see another's violence, aggression, or crimes and feel nothing but fear and violence in return. We live in a trap of cyclical violence, never realizing that when we instinctively respond with fear, we lay the foundation for nothing but more violence, which begets more fear. I am the mayfly metamorphosing on the surface of the river, and I am that bird that when spring comes, arrives in time to eat that mayfly. I am the frog swimming happily on that clear pond, and I am also the snake, approaching in silence, that feeds itself on that frog. I am the child in Uganda, all skin and bones, my legs as thin as bamboo sticks. And I am the arms merchant, selling deadly weapons in Uganda. I am the 12-year-old girl, refugee on a small boat, who throws herself into the ocean after being raped by a sea pirate. And I am that pirate, my heart yet not capable of seeing and loving. I am a member of the political class with plenty of power in my hands, and I am the man who had to pay his debt of blood to my people, dying slowly in a forced labor camp. Please call me by my true name so I can wake up, so that the door of my heart can be left open, the door of compassion. Good luck in your fight for social justice. that since November, there's been a lot of energy, there is a lot of energy 
around what we can do to change the world and to make our voices heard and to have an impact locally and across the country. So I would like to say, so the United Nations has declared today the World Day for Social Justice. And it declares social justice is an underlying principle for peaceful and prosperous coexistence within and among nations. We uphold principles of social justice when we promote gender equality, rights of indigenous peoples, and migrants. We advance social justice when we remove barriers that we face because of gender, age, race, ethnicity, religion, culture, or disability. So we know that we're stronger when everybody in the community is equal. We know that when all of our children feel safe in our public schools, regardless of their sexual orientation, their gender identity, race, or religion, we know our community is stronger. So when I hear from my Muslim friends that their children have to go to school, public schools, and hear all Muslims are terrorists, our response is not not in our community. Everyone. I've been in our public schools, and um, I it's fun to see schools that are proudly and boldly displaying uh, gender neutral values as a token that all students are equal, have the same rights, and have the same access, and because they are equal. If you want to make a difference, we have six out of nine of our city council members being elected on April 4th. If you want to know how to make a difference in this community, banning refugees, referring Christians and casting the Muslims as a terror threat, appointments of people to key positions who have strong ties to white supremacist organizations, a historic and blatant disregard for ethics and conflict of interest, public humiliation of women and people with disabilities, and public speech from the highest office in the land designed to cast doubt and aspersions on the integrity of our judicial system. These all conspire to make engaged citizens committed to a just world for all feel beleaguered, battered, and weary. When an executive order is written that closes borders seven countries. We cannot fail to respond when the president brags about his history of sexually assaulting women who, by his own words, want to do it because of his celebrity. We cannot speak, we cannot not speak out when religious freedom is threatened as a means of discrimination against women their reproductive choice options or to protect bigots and homophobes who don't want to hire or sell to LGBT folk. These matters and more, we will respond, react, and speak out. When injustice becomes a law, resistance becomes a duty. Resist! violence or vitriol, but challenge the cultures and institutions that promote hate. Let us practice the dignity and care in our homes that we want for all of us. Let us protect our capacity for joy. Let us nurture our bodies and spirits. Let us rise and dance. Let us honor our mothers and ancestors whose body
peace, breath, and blood, call us all to a life of courage. In their name, we choose to see this darkness, not as a darkness of the tomb, but of the womb. Let us breathe and push through the pain of this era to birth a new future. Together, let us all declare that love is the call of our times. May your day be reflective and renewing as we stand for social justice for all. Thank you all.